when we started looking and evaluating the pushers versus the um, fifth wheels and I can tell you that um, we've been around racing a lot over the years and around a lot of campers and a lot of motor coaches and to me there's nothing better than the fifth wheel and we particularly have a heavy duty truck in a Volvo that's the tractor that pulls this but the, the, the fifth wheels to me have way more volume and, and open space and height um, than the, the regular motor coaches. Um, so we were looking for a fifth wheel manufacturer that had, I would say, the top end of quality, reliability, customer service, design, and execution. And so we found all of those things with Lux. With our first unit, which was, um, I guess that was a 39 FB. Um, and we have really, really enjoyed that unit. And um, now we have grandkids. And so I call this a three generation um, model here with the 46. So we can get our Lisa, myself, and then our kids and then grandkids in a space like this and really enjoy it. So that's how we went to the larger unit. Um, interestingly, uh, when I talk to a lot of people that have motor coaches, they complain about reliability. And um, as we all know, these are essentially apartments that are on the road, vibrating and going down the road. We have 60,000 miles on our current um, 39, and we have had so very, very few electrical issues, plumbing issues, fastener issues. So it's been incredibly reliable. So when we thought about going to the next one, we back, basically came back to Lux and said, hey, we want you all to do another one for us. So this one, I would say, is more customized than our first one. Obviously, as second buyers, we have ideas about things we like, and I'd love to share those with you. Welcome to our 46 RKB. The first improvement is these steps. They're much more stable. They have the ability to be adjustable, to fit uh, on even ground have a great handrail, so this is a great improvement over the 39, so come on in. So this is obviously the powder room here. We chose to essentially have a countertop that went all the way to the right. We did not do the broom closet, vacuum closet on the right. Um, the tile and the gray and the white we think looks really sort of modern and clean, and uh, so that's uh, the powder room. Um, moving on here into the living room area. Um, this is a pull-out sofa, so this is the Lambright furniture. I think it's the best quality and the fabric is soft and really feels nice. Um, we put this um, setup over here on the right for two people and a divider area there between. Um, we'll end up sliding this over a bit, put a table here. Um, we went with a uh, fan overhead um, and then obviously all the cabinetry above the windows on both sides makes it really nice. If you come on around the corner, um, we have two display areas with cabinets on both sides, TV, um, fireplace. Um, so that really completes sort of this entertaining area. We really do like the um, wood finish that you see um, behind this single seater. And both of the handrails are also matching to that wood finish. Coming on up into the kitchen, um, in our previous um, Lux, we had, um, in the 39, we had a table with individual chairs. We've gone with these uh, cushioned sort of seating areas. This is a total game changer. These are so comfortable, and the height and width of this, and I can see down into the living room area, the TV. I can also talk to whoever's working around the kitchen. So this is like a really nice social area, but a separate area, you might say, from the kitchen. Um, we chose the wood paneling here to match uh, behind the chair. Um, we did a customer supplied sink. This is called a galley sink. We're huge fans of this. And I think they'll have some more pictures to show you the different options for that. We went with the gas and the large microwave. Um, there's counter good counter space on both sides. Um, we went with the LG refrigerator without the water on the outside. We had trouble with it leaking. And so this does not have that, which was really helpful. Um, we designed this as something we have in our current home. 
but it's basically a towel holder so it's not on the counter and taking up the space and there's a slot here for the paper towel to come out here and you still have the drawer space behind it and then below that is the uh, trash can space here um, so a couple of nice ads there we did the wine cooler over here on the island um, we did not have this as a seated bar we wanted the extra storage and we put the drawers in here um, which I think really helps with pots and pans storage drawers in here and then obviously went with the sound solid countertop and the wine storage here so we did not put the post here which goes up keeps us all open and sort of uncluttered um, we also went with a um, herringbone backsplash on both of these walls we did not have the backsplash wrapped to the side walls we wanted to keep the soft touch walls here on the sides um, and then this material worked really nicely with the uh, backsplash so that kind of completes this part of the coach all right so coming up into the master bedroom area first off the cabinet here um, there's new electronics here so it allows you to have an ipad in the coach and you can control all the security cameras on the outside all the lights on the outside all the lights on the inside all the heating cooling on the inside you can also download the app for your phone so i can be away from this unit and see around this unit from my phone and also change heating ac lights so that's a really cool electronic feature so coming on in the bedroom um, the 46 has a slide out for the bed in the bathroom that goes out the um, left side of the camper this also has the slide that moves this area out this is not uh, was not available when we did our uh, 39 we chose to not put the tv in we don't watch tv in bed so we ended up adding this whole cabinet here that we really like that and the width here is a whole lot nicer than um than the 39 was so um then um inside they have added um electrical outlets to the wall here um and there's another electrical outlet um the underneath the, the uh, side there there's also a storage um, space that is really nice that opens up here um, and you can put luggage or grandkids or whatever you want up there if you like um, <laughs> I'm just kidding but um, that's a nice storage area that's over the ceiling of the powder room that's uh, on another ad that's that we really like wider um, side on the right side of the bed here facing that way um, then coming on around into the bathroom um, the double sinks was an option that we really like that way my wife can have her space in mine and then the bathroom is much wider because of this slide out that goes on the on the left side facing forward left side so the volume in the bathroom is much much nicer um, and then when you swing around the shower stall is i would say another 15 inches longer it doesn't have the molded part in it which was a seat molded in the previous one this one has the fold down seat which is a lot nicer and gives you more more space um, so let's see here then we chose to not go with the washer and dryer um, it goes in here um, it's all plumbed so if you swing around here this is massive storage without the washer and dryer uh, washing machine and dryer in here it's all plumbed and it has a vent there for the dryer if you chose to put that in we also uh, live in virginia summers are 90 100 degrees um, there's no roof AC vent that's 100% uh, AC unit that's 100% reliable. We have standalone AC units that we store underneath. And if we lose an AC unit, then it sits on the floor. It's just a standalone unit. And we hunk the, hunk the vent hose up to this outlet, which goes to the outside. Um, during the winter, we have a foam plug that goes in there. And then you screw the cap on so you don't lose um, heat out there so um, then going into the closet area 
this step up used to be right here. So you used to step up and your head would be up in here. Now it's been pushed back so you can step in and really access the full rail and both um, dressers here on the left and right. I don't know if you need to look at, take a shot of that, both sides. So that turned out really nice and the rail, of course. So we really, really like this particular um, layout. We also put another one of those exterior vents down in the living room area. Um, and so that allows us to have a second standalone AC unit in case we have a failure and um, or a supplemental and advance out.